Today is a unique day. Man, we've been out fishing. We've had so much fun. And I was thinking on the way and I'm like, you know what? So many people have asked me to do a Bonita catch, clean, and cook. And I thought, you know what? I got Billy. I got the rods. I got bait. Let's try it. So this is a rock pile just to the north of Jupiter Inlet. Lots and lots of Bonitas here. So we are going to try to catch one. And if we do, that joker's going on ice and getting cooked up because we're cooking dinner for our wives tonight. His wife Tiffany is coming over with their kids. We're gonna cook up a bunch of fish and we're gonna tell them that we caught tuna. We're not gonna tell them what kind of tuna. We're just gonna tell them, hey, we're having tuna. So if you come out here and you wanna catch these bonitas, start off by catching bait. These are sabiki rigs. They're the green number sixes, and they work really well. Pitch it out there. The bait are typically gonna be on the bottom, so let it down to the bottom. Oh, that was quick, literally. Holy cow. It normally doesn't work quite that easy. So I find that a two ounce lead typically is sufficient unless you're fishing really really deep water then you'll have to go to heavier lead drop it down to the bottom when you feel them start ooh, i got a lot of them on here y'all there you go That's what i'm talking about then uh use a d hooker like this makes d hooking them much easier and you're not getting your hands all over them got him what do you got no way did it sky yeah buddy see that's what happens you come out here you start fishing next thing you know oh that's a dolphin it's a mahi are you kidding me well this is nuts! Move to your left there. Oh. Oh. Move, hold him out here. He's. I, I don't have the angle. Yeah! Look at that, dude. Champion. Hey. He is a world champion right here. <laughs> I just got bit down there on the bottom. We're about to find out what did it. Drop them down. I just love fishing. You never know what the heck's about to happen. Got him? Yeah, buddy. The question is now, what do you have? Going down, maybe. Down, down, Charlie Brown. Let me get this out of your way. Snapper! Are you kidding me? This is like the... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you catch a dolphin and a mutton. Let's see how long he is. Is he big enough? Probably. How long do they have to be? 18. Nope, he's 17. 17, but hey. Off he goes. There he is. No idea what I've got here, but... It's the world's largest blue runner. Look at that. I mean like whopper size blue runner.
My man! You're putting it on him, son! What you got? Probably a king. Probably a king. Well, let's hope for a bonita. Big old mackerel. Sure enough, kingfish. Oh, got nailed. There he is. Oh, got nailed right there, boys. Get the gaff. No idea what it is, but it knocked a snot out of this bait. So I call a king, maybe? No, I don't think it's a kingfish. Snook. It's a snook! Are you kidding me? It's a snook! Are you kidding me? On the chicken rig. Are you kidding me? Literally. <laughs> That's what's been eating my daggum sabikis. Basically, we got every species today. Look at that. Oh, Caught a snook in the ocean on a chicken rig. Check out. I'd say he's gonna be about 35 inches. Nah, 34. Almost 34. Yep. It's a kipper. Look at that. So if I really wanted to catch a bunch of these bonitas right now, I would have a bunch of little chummies like that, just the well full of them. And I would sit here and broadcast them and those bonitas would just come firing in pitch a live bait out and it would be over with. But hey, we stopped at this rock pile on the way home. We've caught a dolphin, a mutton snapper, a kingfish, and a snook. Here we go. There it is. Boys, we did it. Hopefully, if I can land this sucker, I got my Benita. Yeah, on the guppy rig. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. We came to the rock pile with one thing in mind. Doing a Benita catch, clean, and cook. You know what they say, the catch part is done. Let's ice them down and we'll see you at the cleaning table. So we are back at the barn and there's that bonita, but we're gonna tell everyone it's tuna. Otherwise they're gonna give me like, oh, this is terrible. But we're gonna use the top for us, the bottom for bait. So check this out. One of my favorite baits in the world is a bonita belly strip just like that cut this off good come in here thin it out thin it out real nice now sometimes under a pinch I will use a fresh strip a fresh strip means I just catch the fish cut the strip and I'm done with it but other times, what I want to do is catch the fish, cut the strip, and then salt it. So like that. That, in all honesty, would make two perfect strips. Just like that. Take your hook, take your front hook, make sure you're right in the center. Good. You've got the, you've got the taste, you've got the smell, you've got the texture, and you've got the wiggle, baby. 
cut that like, like that. I think bleeding this fish out is gonna make a huge difference. Okay, so that's that top line. That's what we cut for the belly. This is what I'm gonna be cooking for us. Nice, pretty top loin. Now I'm gonna take this home and the other one. So we're gonna make a nice seared bonita plate. And we're gonna feed it to the kids and Sarah, see what they think. So anytime you do this, try to like dry it off. The dry, and if you're gonna store it for a while, make sure you wrap it in pip towels. It'll just make the quality of the meat a hundred times better. Now this one, see that? There's no significant bloodline on it. We're gonna take some coarse kosher salt and salt it up. Now, I didn't do any marinade. I didn't soak it in milk, nothing. I cleaned it and I put it on this table. That's it. Then we'll take some white and black sesame seeds. I don't know why it's always common to use white and black. Why don't you use just black sesame seeds or just white sesame seeds? I don't know. We're using white and black sesame seeds. If the fish were not dry, these seeds would not want to stick. Next thing we're gonna do, and this might seem insignificant, but it's really not. Put a little bit of olive oil. Hear that? That's like some kind of metal pan, and it works so good. Take some olive oil, put olive oil on it. There's a reason I'm doing that. All right, so we're gonna take a little extra virgin olive oil, and it's smooth. Just put a little in there. This is what you wanna use, two forks. And what you do is you just stick it in there like that, Not trying to cook it all the way through, we're just trying to sear it. And just, there you go. Woo! Looking so good. That's all she wrote. That's all we're looking for. Take our loins out of there. Check that out. That's a silver stag. Deer meat for dinner edition. Bone and filet. What I use is I use my finger as a guide and just let the knife do the work. When the knife is sharp, it should just gently and effortlessly cut through the fish. Now, I oiled it so that nothing sticks to it. I put it in the freezer so that it gets cold. Now, we're gonna take some of this, it's called wakami, it's actually like a seaweed salad. Make a little bed of that. There you go. This is Billy and Tiffany, and <laughs> they started out as fans, but now they're just great friends. They got awesome kids, their kids are friends with our kids, and our families are friends now. So if you guys live in the Jupiter area, go by and check out Shades. The link to their phone number and their address will be in the description it's below. It's a nail spot, it's a nail spot. 
And if they mention deer meat for dinner, will you give them? I'll call it 20%. 20%? Yes. You guys, if you go by Shades and tell them, hey, we watched this on deer meat for dinner, you're gonna get 20% off. And they've got the only VIP pedicure room in the entire town. Yeah, he went yesterday without me. Good. Emma's like, give me more of that. Yeah, she's loving it. Should we show him? Here, here's some more. Was it good? Yeah. Do that first and give me one more. Okay. Yeah. It's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> Emma, are you a doggy? Oh, Emma's a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a doggy. Dude, totally shocked. That is straight. Gangster good. Yeah. Honey. Oh, look at how fast. I know. It's gone. It's all gone. Babe. Yes. That is a bonita. No. That is a bonita. No. No. I swear on my life. Shut up. On my life. Did you know life. that? Look, look try, at Danny Try some. Try some. I'm not kidding you. I thought it was tuna. Yeah. It is just like tuna. It's smoky. You guys encouraged me to do this catch, clean, and cook. So, boom. Leave it in the comments below. What is the next catch, clean, and cook that you want to see? I've already got like three more videos filmed, so things are coming wide open at you. Look forward to a lot more awesome videos coming up. But um, look. Go check out Shades. You're gonna see Billy, you're gonna see Tiffany. They got an awesome staff full of friendly people. And uh, you'll probably see me there because me and Sarah love going there. Okay, what is that um, green stuff? Cause that was seaweed. horrible. Rah! Was that seaweed? Yeah, seaweed. That's horrible. You don't like it? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. All right, you guys. Hey, listen, that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone. <laughs>